yeah, yeah, this person that did this, stupid. This channel is about... What's going on, folks? I'm Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. Uh, do me a favor. If you are fairly new to this channel and the things that I do on this channel, get an idea of what it's all about before you subscribe, okay? If you are someone that has been following my channel for a while, I know y'all get tired of me saying it, but I'm going to keep saying it anyway because it made a huge difference. You don't believe me? Look how many subscribers. You don't believe me? If you used to look how many subscribers I had in May versus where I am right now, Telling you guys to make sure that you are subscribed makes a huge difference. But I know y'all hate me saying it, but I'm just going to keep saying I have to. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> Woo! This right here is, uh, I'm ready to get into this right here. Thanks, shout out to the subscribers that sent me this right here. All right. Uh, two insurance companies in relationship with the main agency after racist Juneteenth sign. Okay. So this sign right here is left in the window. It says Juneteenth. It's whatever. We're closed. Enjoy your fried chicken and collard greens. Residents in Mill, what is this? Is Millen, Millinocket, Maine, say they are outraged after an insurance agency displayed a racist sign remarking on the Juneteenth federal holiday. Residents in the town of Millinocket, Maine, say they are outraged and disappointed after a local insurance agency displayed a racist sign. Remarking on a Juneteenth holiday, Progressive and Allstate are terminating their relationships with the agency, according to the representatives of the insurance companies. Quote, it says Juneteenth, it's whatever, we're closed, enjoy your fried chicken and collard greens. Yeah, that was not smart. The sign stated in a large font, it was taped to the front of Harry E. Reid Insurance Agency in Millinocket on Monday. The small town sits about three hours outside of Portland and some 50 miles away from the U.S.-Canada border. An image of the racist sign was shared online Monday, gaining the attention of thousands across social media. The insurance agency has faced heavy criticism online with people leaving one star reviews on Google and Yelp, some of which have since been removed. One review written on Yelp says at Progressive, is this really a company that you want representing you or is Progressive a company that believes in racism? Progressive spokesperson Jeff Seibel wrote in an email that the company is aware and appalled by the sign and that it's terminating its relationship with the agency. And here in quotes, it says at progressive diversity, equity, inclusion. Oh, Jesus. See, that we're doing really good up to that point right there. Ah, oh, just had to throw that in there. Why can you just do the right thing? Because it's the right thing to do. Anyway, like I'm gonna finish this quote it says at progressive diversity, equity, inclusion are fundamental to our core values since when anyway, we're committed to creating an environment where our people feel welcome. What do you mean, our people? I'm joking, y'all. And uh, respect it and expect that anyone representing Progressive to take part in this commitment, Cyber wrote. The sign is a direct violation of that commitment and doesn't align with our company's core values and code of conduct. The Harry E. Reedy Insurance Agency did not respond to NPR's request for comment. Millen... Millinocket resident Allura Stillwagon originally posted the image on Facebook with the caption reading, the racism in Millinocket is real. Now, honestly, I wouldn't say that the racism in Millinocket is real, making it seem like the whole town is. I don't know that town or anything like that. I'm not going to act like I do know, but what I do like to do is isolate it down to where it's at. Whoever put that sign up there, the people that work at that place, you got to go further than that. It may not be the people left at that place. If there is video in that building, it would be awesome to see some shape, form, and fashion of video, y'all. That's my opinion. I would really like to see video of who posted it up there. I think most of the time when you're on company property, you can find a few things out. You use a computer. They can see who used the computer, who printed it out, who put it in the window, right? And whoever did that should be fired. But it's all kind of little things that go into it. Was it a prank? Was it deliberate? I mean, it was obviously it was deliberate, but you know what I mean? Still, though, did somebody do that to get back at this company? There's a lot of things that we just don't know about. I mean, no matter what, it's, 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 it's absolutely gross. It's messed up that somebody would do something like this. 
Um, let's see where I am. It said, uh, I had to read it more than once because I thought it was something my mom saw on Facebook. But when she said it was a business in town, I was immediately disgusted. Still wagon told NPR people have this idea that Maine isn't very racist and that it's pretty liberal, but up North, it's not like that at all. See, again, you can't do that though. I mean, I know that this person is saying, but you can't do that. I mean, unless there's some instances, a lot of instances where there's some racism going on on that grand of a scale, then show that. But to take one incident right here and isolate it down to that being a racist thing of the whole entire state or this whole entire town, you can't do that. You know what I mean? This is what this is what's going to cause a whole uprising of division, the whole uprising of people just getting pissed off because of this. And that's not what they should be keeping it at. You should isolate it down to this incident, where it happened at, who did it to that. And that does not represent all of Maine. It does not represent all of Millinocket. It does not. It represents whoever that one individual that did that there. That's who they need to be targeting there. I'm hoping that people will wake up and realize that this is not okay. People need to know their history. Yes, they do. They need to realize that there was a lot of suffering and that this holiday is warranted and it's needed, said Groly in an interview. What holiday are we talking about? Are you talking about Juneteenth? Because if you're talking about Juneteenth, which portion of Juneteenth are you talking about? Are you talking about the one where in 1865 in Texas, those slaves found out that they were already free. They didn't know. They, I mean, they didn't, they didn't. They found out that they are free, knowing that two years prior to that, the other slaves already were. You see what I'm saying? So when should Juneteenth officially be celebrated? When the last slaves were officially free or when they actually officially became free? When it became like a thing once it all was over with that slaves were going to be free? Anyway, so when people say you need to know your history, yeah, it's history today. 1865 does not represent when slaves were free. That represented when the ones in Texas finally found out. Anyway, y'all, it says uh, Steve Golub, chair of Millinock and Town Council, released a statement on Tuesday regarding the incident. It is deeply, I quote, it is deeply saddening and disgraceful and unacceptable for any person, business, organization to attempt to make light of Juneteenth and what it represents for millions of slaves and their living descendants. Golub said in this statement, there is no place in the town of Millinocket for such a blatant disregard for human decency. I agree. I agree with that. It shouldn't be. Now, that shouldn't be taken lightly. But at the same time, we need to really, really have some neutral books when it comes to slavery. When it comes to slavery in America, it needs to be history. If honest, I would recommend David Barton. Get, put it out there. Like he says, the good, the bad, the ugly. Give it to the people. Let them read it. They will see that good things and bad things happen all in it. But it wasn't just this Southern view only of what we get taught of what slavery was all about. It was way more to that. A lot of black heroes, a lot of black families, a lot of black preachers that were preaching to white people. I mean, it's things that they just leave out and it's purposely done. Allstate said in a statement to NPR on Wednesday, we are terminating our contract with this independent agent. Our commitment to inclusive diversity and equity is non-negotiable and we take action when individuals violate our code of conduct. Here we go, the DEI again. The state, why can't they just say, see what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, okay. If it was for all state and progressive, what I would say to you guys, don't use the diversity, equity, inclusion as your reason why you guys are against it. Like, you know, our diversity, equity, inclusion, we are big on diversity, equity, inclusion. But what about you guys as a company, period? Y'all should just be disgusted at this, period. You know what I'm saying? Don't just say we're disgusted at it because we are all about diversity, equity, inclusion. No, just say we're disgusted at this because that was completely indecent. It was disgusting. It was mean. It was wrong. It was racist, et cetera, et cetera. Let, the, let us know. You as a company, let us know how you feel. Don't let us know that you are only doing this just to piggyback off a of DEI. <coughs> Excuse me. The state of Maine celebrated Juneteenth as an official holiday for the first time on Monday. Governor Janet Mills signed a bill into law last year declaring the annual commemoration a paid state holiday. Oh, my God. Illinois, y'all need to follow. Shoot. This month, Mills signed a proclamation declaring June 19th as Juneteenth. Now, look, I know some of you are going to be like, Ty, dude, I'm like, look, y'all, look, I'm just telling y'all. I'm not going to go deep into some of the things that I don't uh, do, 
But at the same time, if my job is telling me, hey, we giving you Martin Luther King Day off, I'm going to take it off. If they say we giving you Abraham Lincoln Day off, I will take it off. If we giving you George Washington Day, I'm, we giving you President's Day, I'm taking it off. We're giving you uh, the 4th of July, Christmas, Easter, all these holidays they want to give me off. They can get, I, look, I don't even, I don't have to be Jewish. If they want to give me a Jewish holiday off, I will take it off. So something like this, I worked. So, and I shouldn't have to work because I'm black. No, I'm just, I'm just messing, folks. Juneteenth is an annual commemoration celebrated on June 19th that marks the United States' second Independence Day. No, it does not. I, I disagree with that. It does not mark the United States' second Independence Day from what empire? Because the reason why I say this is because you need to understand when we did our, when 1776 is Independence Day, that's, that's Independence Day. We broke away from an empire. And people always talk about separation from state and church. Y'all need to really know what that's about. No, it's separation from the state church. P uh, anyway, we ain't going to get into that. Um, so the reason why I say that is because when you say it's Independence Day, that's not true because there were people that were up north that are black that never touched, tasted, seen slavery. Not to what the people in the southern hemisphere did. They didn't see it like that. So to say that that's independence, hey, y'all look, let me just go on about this. I'm staying at I'm subject at hand. On this day in 1865, my General Gordon G Granger, who had fought for the Union, arrived in Galveston, Texas, with nearly 2,000 troops to announce that more than 250,000 enslaved black people in the state were finally free. Joe Biden signed a bill in 2021 to recognize Juneteenth as a federal holiday. So I'm glad that they said that right there because a lot of people think that 1865 marked it for the whole nation, and it's not. But when you leave out those critical points in a story, it leads people to believe that 1865 is when all the slaves found out that they were free. And it wasn't. It was just the ones there in Texas. So anyway, folks, uh, what say you on this? I think that they did the right thing, but I do think they need to further investigate it to find out who put the sign on the window. Show videos if there are any available footage of whoever was in there showing them on the computer. They printed out going up to the window, taping it up there. That individual needs to be fired and any person that was with that individual while they were doing that and saw them do it and didn't say anything about it, or take it down. They need to be fired because honestly, something like that right there. Yeah, that 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 is racist to say things like that. I'm surprised they didn't throw in watermelon and Kool-Aid. So uh, anyway, folks, yeah, this right there is the type of things that I say, you know, you're dealing with. And this is what uh, a lot of people get upset with in America over things like this now. What people like to do as well is they like to take advantage of something like this and exploit it. You know what I mean? Not all things that are going on in America are racist because somebody disagree with you. Right here, as y'all can see, I told you, I don't care what anybody think about me. If something is wrong, I'm going to call it out. Like this right here. Flat out wrong. What this, is, what this individual did right here. Flat out wrong. But then there are other opportunities that people take for a situation that's not racist at all, but they want to try to make it a racist situation. This right here, I love to get some more facts on this right there, but from what it looks at right now, whoever did that, I don't care if they did it as a joke, as a prank, as out of madness, that was racist, flat out. Anyway, let me know what y'all think of this right here, folks. Uh, it would be funny if it turned out that the person was black that did it. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> Let me stop, y'all. Let me know what y'all think about this by leaving it in the comments about this video. Look down below. Check the links in the description how you can get some of the merch. You can get the t-shirts that says, Truth Knows No Color. That's how we combat racism. If you want to look for the Uncle Tom cups like I have right here in the hats. It's available down below. Look at it down below. It should be some little pictures down there from Teespring. That's how you can go there and purchase that. I appreciate you, folks. Uh, also, get a video a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing right here so it can be circulated within the YouTube algorithm. I really appreciate it, folks. You want voices like mine to get out there? You be the reason why my voice get out there, okay? Appreciate you very much. I am Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also, right here, 
is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But like right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny, it can be something serious. It does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it. Keep on supporting it. And God bless you all.